Well, game over for a final time this season. The Calgary Flames and Vancouver Canucks putting a wrap on the regular season. It's presented by McDonald's, as always. Uh, Brendan Parker and Matt Stajan, and uh, finishing on a high, I suppose, 6-2. The Calgary Flames win, obviously, the disappointment of not making the playoffs. But um, as a number of the players and the head coach uh, gave credit to, uh, approached these games down the stretch the right way and, and finished it off on a high here tonight. Yeah, and it, yeah, the games aren't as tight and it was a little loose, but it was nice to see the Flames were – um, reward a lot today as sure. the offense came for a lot of guys and um, you know the times you're in you know I guess you might as well go out with the bang and feeling good about yourself offensively and, um, and everything that comes with that so they exploded today for six goals and some nice ones and uh, led to a nice 6-2 win here on home ice. Andrew Mangiapane, I uh, should note him, he gets his uh, 18th goal of the season, which is a career high for him and uh, ties a career high in points, obviously, in the 56-game schedule. But uh, Brett Ritchie, three points. Derek Ryan uh, had a three-assist uh, game here tonight. And then this is a nice one here, Connor Mackey's first NHL goal. And one he'll always remember top shelf, as you said it. Yeah, he, he goes to the net. He plays a solid defensive game. But, uh, you know, he followed the rush there and found himself in the blue paint. And, um, nice rebound came to him, and he, and he put it top shelf on an open net. It was, it was great to see. I love seeing guys score their first yeah. goals. He'll remember that. His family will remember that forever, and, and uh, it's a special moment for him. Maybe the biggest storyline, though, of the day is the fact that uh, Calgary native, 23-year-old Matthew Phillips, makes his NHL debut here tonight in uh, his home arena. Uh, Matt, this is, uh, you know, you said brought back a lot of memories, but this is pretty special with a solo lap and then the game that ensued. Yeah, and Matthew Phillips, he's just a good kid. Um, he, he lives and dies hockey. Um, he's had the odds stack against him his whole career with his size and, and, and you know, being the small frame that he is, but he works. I've trained with him in summers, and, and he comes to work with a smile on his face. He's very respectful, um, and, and to see him get an opportunity to play in the NHL is his uh, childhood dream for his, the team he grew up watching in his home city. It's special, and, and, and he was buzzing out there. He's hard on the puck and, and wants the puck, and, um, you know, he'll, he'll remember that forever, I think. Uh, it would have been nice if there was fans in here, but um, I don't think you could draw it up any better for, for a Calgary kid to play his first game in Calgary. Uh, um, on home ice here at the Saddle Dome. No question. The only uh, thing that would have been missing was that uh, scoring on that goal that Bax uh, set him up in the back door. But yeah. uh, Bax jammed him, right? Yeah, so. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, we'll blame Bax. He can take it. Uh, either way, uh, Calgary Flames Victoria 6-2 in the uh, regular season finale, and that does it for us here on the postgame show as well. And we'll look forward to uh, another campaign, hopefully with you, the fans, back in the building when uh, a, new, a new season of Calgary Flames hockey kicks off in the fall.